All right, uh, once again, we're asked to find the uh, relative extrema and the concavity. And uh, we'll work on relative extrema first. And uh, so the first order of business um, is to take the first derivative. And uh, so we have 8x cubed plus 24x squared. All right. And we set this thing equal to zero, solving for x, and that means that uh, we've uh, we got some things coming in both these uh, terms here. We've uh, let's see, eight. We can factor an eight and an x squared out, and I highly suggest that you do that. Since we're left with an x plus uh, what three. All right, now setting both these factors equal to zero. Therefore, in this particular case, x has to be zero. And then we set this factor equal to zero. And obviously, x is equal to negative three. All right, plug negative three in, negative three plus three is zero. All right. Now we uh, want to do a null line, plotting 0 and negative 3 on our number line. So we'll put negative 3 here, how about and 0 here? And now uh, we want to choose some test points like negative 4, about negative 1, and then 1. And then we want to take our t points and plug them into the factored form of the derivative because it's a whole lot easier to evaluate in your head. And so plugging negative 4 in, negative 4 squared is 16, and 8 and 16 is a positive number. Plugging negative 4 in over here, negative 4 plus 3 is a negative number, and positive times negative is negative. Therefore, the function must be decreasing from negative infinity to negative 3. And then we want to take negative 1, plug it into the factored form, so negative 1 squared is 1, so we get a positive. Negative 1 plus 3 is a positive number, and a positive times a positive is positive. And then it's increasing. Okay, then plug neg or plugging 1 in, uh, and we can obviously that, see that's positive also. Now in all the other previous problems, it's always either been uh, decreasing and increasing, and then of course it would be decreasing, but as you can see in this case, that it is increasing. Right? Um, okay. So now what we want to do is take negative 3, plug it back into the original, take the actual point on the graph, so we plug negative 3 back into the original, right? Um, and I'm just going to label this, if you don't mind, as f of negative 3, and I'll let you take negative 3 and plug it in and get, uh, get that number out. Right. And of course we can see then Right, that it must be a minimum, decreasing and increasing. All right. Now, what about this guy? Well, the graph is increasing up to zero, but then uh, it's increasing after zero. So that's not a minimum or a maximum. All right. And uh, so we can say here that the graph is um, a negative infinity to negative 3, the graph is decreasing, right? And the graph is increasing negative 3 to 0. And I'm going to write a little union symbol here. And then from 0 to infinity. Now the graph is not increasing at 0. We can't say we can't just say from negative 3 to infinity the graph is increasing because at 0 this is where the tangent line is 0 and therefore the graph is not increasing or decreasing all right now uh, the uh, let's see what's the next order of business oh the concavity of the graph and that means taking the second derivative so we want to take uh, the derivative Derivative of the derivative. 
And so the derivative of 8x cubed, bring the 3 out front, is going to be uh, 24x squared. So f double prime of x is equal to 24x squared. And then taking the 2, bringing it out front, multiplying it by the 24, we get 48x. So plus... 48x. And now what we want to do is set this equal to 0. And solve for x. So I'm going to factor out a 24 and an x. We're left with x plus 2. All right, and so we set both these factors equal to zero, and therefore x is equal to zero, this particular one, solution for that one, and then we've got x plus two, and therefore x is equal to negative two. And so we're going to draw a number line. I'm going to plot uh, z negative 2 on the number line, and how about 0? Now we want to take these uh, these test points, negative 3, about negative 1, and 1. Take our test points, and we're going to plug them in to the uh, second derivative, and uh, test if this graph is uh, concave up or down. So I take negative 3, and I remember always plug it into the factored one. So we plug negative 3 plus 2 is negative, and this is going to be negative, and a negative times a negative is positive, so it's concave up. Taking negative 1 now and plug it in, you get negative 24. Negative 1 plus 2 is a negative, and a negative, and a negative. No, I'm sorry. Negative 1 plus 2 is a positive 1. Hmm. So we get a negative times a positive. That's negative, so it's concave down between negative 2 and 0. And then we plug 1 in, and that's positive. Therefore, it's concave up. All right, and so now we're going to take our find uh, these points of inflection. So take negative 2, and uh, you're going to plug that directly into the original function, right? And we can see, right, this graph, that's an inflection point there, and then plugging uh, 0 in right, to the original, which is always easy to do, right? We get an inflection point there, and now we know that it's going to give up from negative infinity up to negative 2, and it's concave up from 0 to infinity. All right, so concave up, I'll list that as a CU, and then concave down from negative 2 to 0. All right, so I'll list that as CD there, concave down, and that uh, finishes this problem.